think initially it was, I don't think it was a foul for me. Glenn Kamara's furious by the attentions of Andres Kudela. Glenn Kamara has to be careful, he's been booked first half. Well, Golson, it's all got a bit silly here. Hello my amazing subscribers, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing really well. Welcome to Newsroom Media. This is where we give you odd, fresh and sizzling news all day long. Let's take a look at the headline for today's news. On Sport News today we have Enough is Enough, Ranger star Glenn Kamara breaks silence on vile racist abuse and demands UFA action against Slavia Kudela. Before I go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to my channel or this is your first time here, please do well to subscribe. Also like and share my videos. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I post. Now without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. Glenn Kamara has issued a strong statement on the vile racist abuse he received during Rangers' clash with Silva Prague. Kamara alleges the the Zed side defender Kudela whispered you're a fucking monkey, you know you are, into his ears in the closing stage of the Europa League match at Ibrox. Kamara and his Rangers teammates reacted with fury, sparking a mass confrontation. Sylvia has since rejected, rejected the racist claims and accused Kamara of assaulting Kudela in the tunnel after final whistle. Now in a statement released through lawyer Ama Anwa, Kamara gave his version of events as he eat out at Kudela and insisted enough is enough as he demanded action from the football authorities. He said there is no place for racism or any form of bigotry in football. Since summer, many of us have taken the nail in solidarity with those who have lost their lives to racial violence. If UEFA genuinely wants to show racism the red card, then it's time to stop the tokenism and take a zero-tolerance approach. As a player, I do not expect myself nor any other to have to tolerate racial hatred on or off the pitch in 2021. The vile racist abuse by Kudela took place on the international stage and many failure and any failure to act by UEFA will be viewed as green card for racism. During yesterday's match with Silva Prague, Kudela was arguing with the Ranger player and after I tried to intervene, he told me to shut up and then said, one second my friend. He then came over to me, covering his mouth, leaning into my ear. He uttered the words, you're a fucking monkey. You know you are. I was shocked and horrified to hear such racist abuse from a professional football player. Kudela's claim, he simply swore at me and said, you're a fucking guy. It's a complete utter lie, which does not stand up to any form of scrutiny. Kudela's actions were deliberate and premeditated, but he was loud enough for any teammates to hear him. I am grateful for the unconditional support of my team, our club, and especially our manager, Steven Gerard. I want to thank not just our Rangers fans, but the many fans from across the football community and beyond for calling out racism, not just against myself, but also against fellow player Kemal Roof, who was subjected to a tirade of racism, racist bile on Instagram. We as black players are sick of the freedom that such bigots are given to parade their hatred on social media and wonder when the likes of Instagram will start to take action. The girls were beaten 2-0 by Silva Prague at Ibrox in a Fury Europa League game that saw two of Gerard's players sent off, but the match was overshadowed by the ugly scenes towards the end. The battle is said to have continued in the tunnel after the final whistle with Sylvia's Chiefs 
claiming Kudela was hit with fist by Kamara. UEFA is aware of an incident which occurred in the tunnel after the end of the match and which involved some players of both teams, a statement read. Reacting to the incident, reacting to the incident, Rangers boss Gerard said, Glenn Kamara, to me, is one of my own, like the majority, or in that dressing room. I 100% believe what he's saying in terms of the accusation. Other players around him heard it, so I would stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Glenn Kamara, and I would deal with these however Glenn wants to deal with it. I am proud of all my players tonight, showing solidarity and from the top of this club to the bottom, we stand with the players. This situation is over to UEFA now. I just hope it doesn't get brushed under the carpet. I feel angry. It is extremely disappointing. There is too much of it happening around football. The silver player has caused this and he has also caused a situation like this to escalate even further because straight away you get the fans joining in and the racism grows and grows. Something needs to happen quickly. This is above me, but 100% I stand beside Glenn Kamara, whatever happens going forward. UEFA will take this upon them. I am sure they will speak to both players and we will let other people deal with it. All I can confirm is that my player tells me he was racially abused. As Gerard called for action to be taken, Silver officials eats back at Rangers' claim, accusing the Ibrox player, Ibrox club of unprecedented malicious play and said police Scotland had been asked to get involved. During the game, Kema Roof was sent off for a studs up challenge on visiting player Kola's face, leaving the player with a huge head wound while Lon Balogun received his matching orders for two yellow cards. In a statement, Prague bosses said the club denies the allegation of racism of one of the team captains, Kudela. The statement said that Kudela spoke to one of the Rangers players and was quoted as saying, I told him, you're a fucking guy. It was said in emotions, but I absolutely deny there was anything racist in those words. It continued, Sylvia players faced an unprecedented malicious play from their opponents. They have never experienced such play in any game they participated in the modern history of the European competition. Many brutal tackles resulted in injuries of our players. Goalkeeper Kola traveled to a hospital with 10 stitches on his head. After the end of the game, the team was not allowed to enter the dressing room. Kudela was assaulted by player Kamara and hit with fist in the head with manager Steven Gerard witnessing the incident. Even the Europa, Europa representatives, sorry, who were also present on the site of the incident were shocked by their disbehavior. The team is now safe, accompanied by the Scottish police. On the game itself, Gerard had no excuses for the defeat. Congratulations to Sylvia. They deserved it over the two games. In no way, shape or form do we sit here and be bad losers, coming out with excuses. This news is coming to you from Newsroom Media. Thank you very much for always listening and watching our videos. If you haven't subscribed to this channel or this is your first time here, please go ahead and subscribe. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post. Lastly, please do not forget to put down your comments down below. We want to hear from you. We want to know what your opinions are. And we always respond to all our comments. Well, this is...